Welcome to day 27. Today we're going to work our way to camel ustrasana. So we're going to be doing a lot of back bending, spinal strengthening, and a fair amount of core work. So come to seated on your mat. <clears throat> try to sit down without using your hands whenever you can. Try to get up without using your hands whenever you can. Sit up tall in a comfortable position any way you like. Head over heart, heart over hips. Crown reaching to the sky. Arms relax, shoulders relax. Take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale, open your mouth. Inhale through nose, sit up a little taller. Exhale out mouth, engage your pelvic floor, let your navel come to spine. Last one like that, inhale, sit up. Exhale out mouth, let it go. Now reach your arms out in front of you, press your palms together, apply a little pressure as you press your hands together. Sitting up tall, collarbones broad. On your inhale, reach your arms up open wide, out to your sides in the big shape of a T. Exhale, close your palms, press them together as you engage your pelvic floor and navel to spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, close and press together. Inhale, open. Exhale, close and press together. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Really open up broadly. Sit up tall. Three deep breaths. Keep your lips together. Inhale through nose. Exhale out nose. Big inhale. Exhale, palms come together and press. Three breaths. One, engage your core. Two, three. Inhale with your palms together. Reach your hands up overhead. Soften your shoulders. Now bend your arms at the elbow. Let the blades of your hands fall between your shoulder blades. Let the back of your head rest on your forearms. Lift up through your chest, up through your rib cage. Lift your chin an inch and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Change your cross. On your next inhale, reach your hands up overhead. Exhale, turn to the right and lower your hands. Sit up tall for a big seated twist. Lips together. One, engage your core. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, turn all the way to the left and lower. Press your palms down. Sit up a little taller. Close your lips. Five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let your fingers float down to the side. Now come over onto your hands and knees. Find your tabletop position. Palms flat, especially the first knuckle. Rotate your arm bones outward so the eyes of your elbows are toward the front of the mat. Press down through the tops of your feet. Engage your core in this tabletop, long spine, tailbone reaching behind you, crown reaching forward. On the inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin. Exhale, round through your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. Let your chin come to chest. Inhale, cow, drop your belly. Exhale, cat, round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, back to neutral. Walk your palm, one palm breath ahead. So you're a little bit wider, curl your toes under, take a big inhale. 
Exhale, lift your tail up to the sky. Pedal out your feet. Find your downward facing dog. Palms pressing. Upper arm bones rotated outward. Broad through your chest. Collarbone broad through your upper back. Puffy under your armpits. Sink your chest a little deeper. Press your left heel into the mat, bend your right knee and lift your hips a little taller, sink your chest a little lower, three breaths. One, two, three, bend both knees, take an inhale, exhale, press your right heel down, keep your left knee bent, lift your hips a little taller, soften your shoulders into the sockets and hold it, three breaths. One, two, three, bend both knees, fill up your lungs, and exhale, press both heels down toward the mat, sink your chest lower, best downward facing dog yet, three breaths, one, long spine, all the way from the crown of your head to your tailbone, two, and three, bend your knees, look to your hands, take a deep breath, and on the exhale, slowly walk your feet up to the front of the mat. Let your chest sit on your thigh. Your toes and feet are parallel, they're in the shape of 11. Their heel and ankles directly under your uh, knees. Let your head dangle, just hang there, let your back release. One, two, three. Now release your hands down onto the mat. Begin to straighten the back of your legs so that you get a nice little stretch up the back. Hang there for a breath or two. Deep breaths. And then slowly press through your feet, round up as slow as you can, stacking your spine one on top of the other. Letting your shoulders, neck, and head come up last. Take a big round through the shoulders. Drag your shoulder blades down your back. Take one more big inhale through the nose. Exhale out mouth, let it go. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead, upward salute. Exhale, soft bend in your knees, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Flat back, long spine. Exhale, slowly, forward fold. On your inhale, rise up as slow as you can so you don't get lightheaded. Let your tips come up to top, upward salute. Exhale, palms to heart center and down by your side. One more like that. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, swan dive, long spine. Fingers come to earth, head hanging. On your inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Remember, come up slowly. Inhale as you rise. Fingertips come up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. All right, let's move on. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your right foot back to a low lunge. Lower your right knee. On the inhale, fingertips rise up overhead, hips sink forward. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop your palms behind your head. Shift forward a little more, square off your shoulders and hip toward the front of your mat. Three deep breaths. One, two, three. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower your hands to frame your feet. Lift your back knee. On the inhale, step back to plank. You can go to down dog from here or come with me. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower your knees, lower your chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, plank table. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath. Stay there for the exhale. On your inhale, left leg rises. On your exhale, shift forward, knee to chest. 
foot comes between hands. Lower your right knee. On the inhale, reach your hands overhead. Lower your palms behind your head. Two deep breaths. One, two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, frame your feet. Stay on your fingertips. Lift your back knee. Take a big inhale, and on your exhale, step forward. Feet meet hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. Tadasana. Other side. Inhale, fingertips rise up. Exhale, soft bend in your knees. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your left foot back. Actually, your hands are up on fingertips. Lower your back knee. Put a cushion underneath your knee if you want. Inhale, lift arms up overhead. Exhale, bend your elbows, sink forward. Three deep breaths. One, two, three. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, frame your feet with your hands. Lift your back knee, step back to plank. Go to down dog if you like or come with me for a vinyasa. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower your knees if you like, or hug your elbows in, just lower halfway. Then upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths. One, two. On your inhale, lift your right leg, three-legged dog. And on your exhale, shift forward, knee to chest. Step your foot between your hands. Lower your back knee. On your inhale, rise up. On your exhale, bend your elbows. Sink forward, two breaths. One, two, inhale, reach up. Exhale, frame your feet with your hands. Lift your back knee. Take a big deep breath, and then on your exhale, step forward. Feet meet hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. All right, let's keep going. Tadasana to begin. Feet pressing down, core engaged. On your inhale, fingertips rise up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fingertips, frame your feet, step your right foot back. Instead of, you can option to lower your knee or rise up to crescent. <clears throat> if your knee is down, you'll just be holding it, uh, ho uh, holding these next pulses. So bring your interlacing fingers, bring your hands behind your head. Take a big inhale, engage through your right thigh. On your exhale, lower an inch or several inches. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. From here, inhale, reach your hands overhead. Exhale, fingertips, frame your feet. Lower your back knee. On your inhale, shift your weight forward. On your exhale, shift your hips back for half split. If you have blocks, you can use them here to steady yourself. They can be turned up on the side, about lined up with your heel. Get um, steady wherever you are, fingertips on mat or on blocks. On your inhale, shift forward, low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, half split. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, half split. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, half split. Once you arrive here, pull your left hip crease back. It's in line with the right. Pull your left little toe back with your big toe pressing forward. Foot is flexed. I don't know if you can see mine. 
Get steady with your hand on the right, on the block, or on the floor. Take a big inhale and lift your left arm up to the sky. If you don't have a block, it doesn't matter. I didn't even really mean to pick up my block. Pause there, three deep breaths. Pull your left hip crease back. Careful not to overstretch your left knee. One, two, three. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, set it back down. From here, you can set your blocks to the side. Inhale, shift forward, lift your back knee. Pause there for a second while I check my notes. I don't want to cheat y'all and forget something good. Oh yeah, all right, step back to plank. Hold it here. Knowing you can, put your knees down. Five deep breaths, engage through your core. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, press your heels back. Two, shift forward, exhale back. Three, shift forward, exhale back. Four, forward, exhale back. Five, shift forward, exhale back. Now here's where it gets really crazy. Place your palms so it's just under your left shoulder. Tilt your heels to the uh, right, drop them down behind you. Lift your right palm to the sky. Option to stack your heels. Option to put your bottom knee down. Hold it for five breaths. One, two. Make sure your shoulder is directly over your wrist so you don't hurt your shoulder. Three, four, five. One more inhale. Exhale, lower your hand to the mat. Get steady in your plank. Then lower your heels. Okay, your heels are to the right this time and your toes to the left. Sorry if I messed you up on that. Lift your left arm tall. One, close your lips, lift your hips a little taller. Option to put your bottom knee down or stack your feet. Two, three, four, five. One more inhale. Exhale, lower your hand, lower your knees. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. From here, I'm gonna set my blocks aside so you can see. Send your arms out in front of you. So you're long, you're in Superman. Your legs are zipped up, toes touching, knees touching, thighs touching, fingertips reaching forward. On the inhale, lift your upper body and hands, palms facing each other, shoulders soft. Gaze just out in front of you. On your next inhale, lift your feet. Hold it there, or on the inhale, lift everything. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more just for fun. Inhale, lift. Hold it for three breaths. One, two, three. One more inhale, stretch long. Exhale, lower down. Stack your palms, put them under your forehead. Take a little break. All right, let your head come down to the mat. Bring your palms under your shoulders. On your inhale, rise up to table. And then separate your knees, toes touch. Let your hips sink back to child pose. Make it sort of active up on your fingertips, head down, hips heavy. One, two, three. Now, let your palms go flat. <clears throat> Rise up onto your fingertips for a second. Then put your forearms back down on the mat and let your forehead fall between your elbows. So you're basically just still in child's pose with your palms pressed together. Reach your arms out a little further, then bend your elbows. Let the blades of your hands fall behind your back, and then gently tug back on the skin of your elbows so you get that nice stretch up the back of your arms, back of your upper arms, and your upper back. Pause there. One. Two, 
three, four, five. Now lower your arms back down. Come up on your fingertips, slowly rise back up. So from here, we're gonna go to puppy. So your hips are over your knees. You can grab your blocks if you have them, but not altogether necessary. Come back down on your, uh, with your elbows on your blocks. Let me see if this is gonna work. If you only have one block, they may not fit. You may need both blocks. Then let your chest sink with your elbows up on the block. Just a little more stretch there. If you don't have a block, it's okay. Just reach your hands forward, let your chest sink in puppy. Wherever you are, relax into the posture and take four or five deep breaths. Lips closed, big ujjayi breaths in and out the nose. I know this is a very intense stretch for some of you. Pick your head up, walk your palms back under your shoulders, come back to tabletop, put your blocks back on each side of the mat so they'll be there when we do the other side. Come back to your table, curl your toes under, fill up your lungs, and on your exhale, lift your hips tall. Let your chest sink. Two more breaths. Fill up your lungs, look to your hands, and then on your exhale, step forward, feet deep down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. Okay, other side. This time we're going to step back into our crescent lunge with our left foot and do our three uh, lunges. Or you can just put your knee down on the ground if that's what's good for you today. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, soft bend in your knees, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fingertips to mat beside toes. Send your left knee back. Get steady on your feet. On railroad tracks, not one behind the other. Press through your feet, rise up. Crescent. Hips square to the front of the mat, shoulders square to the front of the mat. Fingers interlace behind head. Lift your rib cage out of your pelvis. Engage through your left back thigh. Inhale. And exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. This is your balance today, too. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, raise your arms up overhead. Exhale, frame your feet with your hands, lower your back knee, grab your blocks. Take a big inhale as you sink your hips forward into that low lunge, and then exhale, shift your hips back, lift your toes for half split. Inhale, shift forward, exhale back, inhale forward, Exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back. Now check your right hip, pull it back so it's in line with the left, flex your right foot, pulling that little toe towards you, big toe roughly pressed away. On your next inhale, lift your right hand to the sky, opening your chest, still pulling that right hip crease back. Close your lips, navel to spine, use your core to hold you up. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower back down. On your inhale, shift forward. Set your blocks to the side, plant your palms, step back to plank. 
Do we do everything on that side, student, outside the screen? Lower down onto your elbows. Here's our core work. We're in forearm plank. You can interlace your hands or place your hands in the shape of an 11. Engage your thighs, press your heels back. On your inhale, shift forward. Exhale back. Two, exhale back. Three, exhale back. Four, exhale back. And five, navel to spine. All right, now you can always put your knees down too. Now, I'm gonna send my heels to the left. Toes are to the right. Lift my right arm up. Lift your hips, five deep breaths. One, now when you can lower that bottom knee. Two, now when you can stack your feet to make it more challenging. Three, lift your hips. Four, press down through your forearm. Five, now lower your right hand back down into the forearm plank, get steady. Then lower your heels to the right, toes to the left. Press down through your right forearm. Lift your left arm to the sky. Lift your hips taller. Stack your feet or lower your knee or just leave them separated. Close your lips. One. Lift a little taller. Two. Three. Four. Five. Big inhale. Exhale. Lower your forearms to the mat. Lower your knees. Then separate your knees. Send your hips back for child's pose. One, two, three, four, five. On your inhale, come back up to table. So here we are. So on this side, last side we did Superman and some other backhands. This side, we're uh, doing some other things. So. Back to your flat forearms, flat palms, fingertips, forearms, pressing, pressing into the mat. Take a big inhale, open through your chest, drag your forearm skin back towards your torso, lift your chest forward and through. Sphinx pose, no pain in the back. Getting a stretch there on the front side of your belly. And some strength in your back. Three more breaths. One, two, three. Lower your head back down to the backs of your hands. Take a little break. Okay, now we're going to try uh, Shalom Basana. So, first time, press your palms flat in the mat, on the mat, beside your body. All right, and then pressing down with your palms, lift your chest, then lift your feet, lift your fingertips behind you. One, two, three, four, five, lower back down. All right. Now, here's the crazy thing. I'm going to roll on my side. You roll on your side. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms together. Girls, make sure your arms are on the outside of your chest. Guys, I'm not sure. So, you're interlaced and then roll on your belly with your fist underneath you. Chin down. On your inhale, lift your chest. Then lift your legs. Lift them a little taller. Five breaths. One, two, long neck. Three, four, five. Lower back down. Release your hands. If your foot's out of crown, white line, flex and point. <laughs> okay, we do crazy things in yoga sometimes. Why not? All right, last thing on our belly. <clears throat> Bend your legs at the knees. Reach back, grab onto the tops of your feet if you can. If you can't, just point your fingers back. Begin pressing your feet into your hands. Keep your knees close together. Begin pressing your feet or ankles into your hand until your chest lifts. And then lift a little taller. 
balance on your hips at your hip creases. Try not to rock. One, don't let your knees splay out. Two, three, four, five. Slowly lower your knees back down, lower your chest down. Gently release your feet. So bring your head back onto your palms. And take a little break. If your heart's beating fast, that's normal. Option to get a neck stretch here. Put your arms out to the side your sides with your palm up. Turn your head to the right for three breaths. Relax. While our heart rate comes back down to normal. And chin comes back to mat. Turn your head the other way. Get a neck stretch on the other side. Three breaths. Chin comes back to the mat. Bring your hands under your chest. On your inhale, sit up. And just come to a sitting and take a little break for a second. Ew. Okay. Two more things. You're going to love this. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Um, since we're doing all this chest opening and we have our upper backs and shoulders so open, we should do dolphins. So bring your forearms back on the mat. They can be in the shape of an 11 or with your fingers interlaced, but you want to be able to press down with your forearms. I'm going to start in the 11. I might change it. Curl your toes under behind you. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Lift your hips like in downward facing dog. So, pause here for a minute, see how you feel. Check your shoulders. They should be directly over your elbows. Elbows directly under your shoulders. Press gently down with your forearm. Then walk your feet in a little. And let your heels lower toward the mat. Get a stretch up the back of your legs, even into your hips. Lift your hip creases a little more. Close your lips and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Lower your knees. You can come down to child's pose, or if you feel like sitting up for a second, you can do that. We're going to do one more. All right, lower back down, get your arms in position, elbows under shoulders, curl your toes under, lift your hips, and walk your toes in as close as you can, and lower your heels down toward the mat. Stay just like this, or lower through your left heel and lift your right leg tall, pressing gently with your forearms. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, lower your right foot, lift your left, one, two, three, four, five, lower your foot, lower your knees, let your head come to your palms, let your shoulders relax. From here, come up to sitting on your knees. We're not staying here. Come up onto your knees. Curl your toes under, behind you. On your inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Soften your shoulders, soften your face. Bring your right hand behind, so it is fingertips pointing down. Bring your left hand behind, fingertips pointing down. Open broadly through your chest. Lift your rib cage out of your pelvis. Now send your hips forward. Don't let your knees get too wide. It could put pressure on your ligaments. So you are in camel. Integrity in the neck. Pause here. One, two, three, 
four, five. Sit back up, take a little break. We're gonna do two more rounds. At any point, you can come to child's pose. You can head on to your back. Two more rounds. All right, we got time. Come right back up, curl your toes under. Bring your arms up. Exhale your hands back into your back pockets. Lift your chest, press your hips forward. Stay just like this or lower your right hand to your right heel, thumb on the outside. Lower your left hand to your left heel, then press your hips forward again. Lift your chest up and out. You're in the big shape of the C. Close your lips. One, two, three, four, five. To come out, just bring your right hand to your waist, left hand to your waist. Slowly rise up. Sit back down on your hips. Take a big inhale through nose. Exhale out mouth. Let it go. Last one, and then we'll end it. So you can turn, so you can go back to your beginning camel, just like we did before. You can keep your toes curled under, or challenge yourself by putting your feet flat on the mat. On your inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your back pocket. Lift your rib cage out of your chest. Press your hips forward. Option to lower your hands one at a time to your heels. Lift your chest. Option to let your head hang if you know your neck can do that. Otherwise, keep some integrity. One, two, three, four, five. Right hand comes to your hips, left hand comes to the hips, slowly rise up. Sit back on your heels, recover. Maybe your heart rate's up again. Pause. From here, sit over onto your hips, send your feet out in front of you. You know, we have to do a forward fold after back bends. So be gentle with yourself here. You might not be able to go directly into that deep forward fold. Inhale, reach your hands up. Lift your rib cage out of your pelvis, hinge at the hip, slowly let your fingertips come down beside your thighs. Option to hold on to your toes. Do not overstretch the back of your legs, shoulders, arms, anything. Be gentle. Inhale, stretch your spine long gently, and then exhale, fold a little more. One, two, long spine, really stretching it long. Three, Four, five, inhale, half lift. Exhale, this time round your spine, round, let your chin come to your chest, let your forearm rest on the mat or your fingertips, let your spine round. Remember your toes, big toe pressing away, little toe pull back. One, relax into it. Relax your face, your shoulders, your arms. Two, make a little space for your belly. Three, four, five, slowly round back up. Put your feet flat on the mat. Reach your arms forward. Take a big inhale. Exhale, slowly roll back. One vertebrae at a time. Once you're here, place your right ankle on your left knee. Take your right hand, press your knee away. One. Low back, flat in the mat. Two, three, release that. Take your hands and lift your left foot, interlace your hands behind your left knee. Flex your feet to protect your knees. Soften your shoulders and face and press away with your right elbow on your right knee. One, two, three, four, Five, lower your left foot to the mat, uncross your leg, sit it down, cross your left ankle on your right knee. Take your left hand and press your left knee away. Flex in your left foot. Hold that, three breaths. One, two, 
three. Now release that, interlace your hands behind your right knee, pick up your right foot, and get that stretch in the left hip. Soften your shoulders away from your ears, soft neck, flex your feet. One, two, low back in the mat, three, four, five, lower your right foot, lower your left foot, pick up both knees and hug them in tight, press your low back down into the mat, squeeze your knees, hug it on your elbows, forearms, or your wrists, whatever you can reach, make your neck long, big deep breaths. Now let your feet come to the mat. Send your right leg long and your left leg long. Open your palms to the sky. Stretch your arms long. Begin to relax. Just let your feet flop out. Relax your toes, the balls of your feet, your ankles. Relax your shins and calves. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs. Relax your entire pelvis. Relax your chest and your back. Relax your shoulders, your arms and your fingers. Take a swallow, lick your lips, then begin to relax your face, your mouth, your tongue, the skin on your face, your eyes, your forehead, your scalp. Still your body, still your mind, practice being still and relaxing. Verse of the day, Isaiah 7, verse 14. <laughs> that in hell to be translated. All right then, the Lord himself will give you the sign. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Namaste and blessings.